r slash ask reddit what is would be the female version of getting a boner in a public area when the inseam of your jeans hits the exact right spot or the exact wrong spot and the only way to adjust it is to do that awkward knees apart pull pants crotch down and or over move I was on a date with someone I was very attracted to, and we hadn't had sex yet. I was wearing a very thin skin tight beige dress. My, um, juices leaked on the dress, and I didn't notice until I went to the bathroom and saw that it was a noticeable wet spot right where my ass was. Had to use the hand dryer to air it out. I have this image of you kicking one leg up on the sink while drying the nether regions and it makes me laugh. Being so wet your panties stick to your vag in an uncomfortable way and having to sneakily readjust in a way that doesn't look like you're digging in your vag or ass crack. Sounds like when your balls get stuck to your leg. When your panties get stuck in your butt crack, but readjusting them would mean shoving your hand in your pants up your skirt, so you just have to deal with it. Ah, the old sofa slide. Feeling a warm and humid sensation. Almost like a tingling in your genitalia. The upside is nobody notices. The downside is wet panties. Related, when you get really turned on at work, and still have an 8 hour shift with wet panties, such that when you get home you have a slight diaper rash on your butt, wear the wrong underwear the next day and it either stays uncomfortable or gets worse. Colon. Edit. Uh, genuinely. Thank you for the suggestions. XD should get better when I don't need to wear long johns every day anymore. B. I should also say, since vaginas are self-cleaning, sometimes it's not even being turned on, just, suddenly you're uncomfortably wet for no good reason. Though also, idle minds, devil's play thing, haha. <laughs> sometimes if I was with my BF at the time and I was wearing a skirt and sat on a hard plastic chair and we were flirting a little bit, I would get so hot and bothered and wet that when I stood up the seat would be slightly damp. That would be horrifyingly embarrassing and so I made it a habit to sit on my coat if I was wearing a skirt so that wouldn't happen. But that was a while ago now. Pad shifted and is probably showing. Pad shifted, is stuck to my pubic hair, is pulling the hair every time I move. Sometimes there's just a random and uncontrollable gush of fluid, enough that if you're not wearing panties, it will run down your legs like you've peed yourself a fair amount. Ah yes. The random self-cleaning cycle. Don't you wish you could schedule those? Worst yet is when you don't know if you just started your period or if it's just spring cleaning time. The smell of sex and candy. Who's that lounging in my chair? The clit twitch. Do you mean when it gets throbby? The smell. Where is that smell coming from uncomfortable shuffling? Does Pam have a boner again? When your kitten is so warm it activates the airport scanner and you get the full body pat down. True story. Sploosh. Or you know, the male equivalent of sploosh. Which, I guess is just sploosh. When I was in high school 4 years ago, I would get wet and my clit would start throbbing like a heartbeat out of nowhere. So ducking weird. I guess that's the equivalent lol. Snail trail. Nipples that can cut ice. I get really embarrassed if you can see my erect nipples through my shirt for some reason. Getting wet and being 100% sure everyone within 10 featuring can smell your kitten. I can't smell it but I can see the increase in temperature with my thermal vision. Sometimes, out of the blue it feels like you are horny, that sensation as if you have been rubbing your bean. Getting wet enough that you're worried you're bleeding or peed yourself a little. Edit. Thank you for the gold. You're too kind. Period stains on pants. Period blood smell. I know it's cliche and all, but this is my top rated comment. My karma went from 120 to 2.5k in a day. Thanks guys. I broke the news to a girl once. I was in Taco Bell, like 1am, and she was in line in front of me. She had a hoodie on, and tight, white pants. I tried my best to phrase it as nice as possible, me being a dude. I said, for your information, seems you sat in something, might wanna throw your hoodie around your waist. She had the instant look of death and simply said thank you, while quickly taking off her hoodie. I once went to a dinner and had my BF at the time lightly teasing me under the table. When I stood up my wetness ran down my leg and made a trail in my stockings. I was with a female friend and she saw someone she found very attractive. 
Her exact word Splash Mountain is now open. Getting wet. Hard nipples. Extreme blushing. I'd say nipples are the closest to a boner. Extreme blushing. When breastfeeding. If something got me excited in public. A baby smiling. Cute baby. A good sale. Someone scared me. My nipples would squirt and it would soak through my bra or squirt out my bra soaking my shirt in front of people. Used to manage a bank and all my tellers were female. One day one said I have a go. Should not have, but I asked. What's that? A titty hard on. Equivalent? Just a torrent of arousal secreting every time a dude revs up his lifted pickup truck at a stoplight and drag races nobody in particular across an intersection. Endangering the lives of pedestrians. The worst is starting your period and it leaking through your pants. IDK if other women get this, but I get this glowing sensation in my vagina which is the internal part of my clitoris, the G-spot. I also get a slight tingly sensation all around the outside part. Today I learned that getting random or unwanted boners is still more predictable than having a vagina who actively tries to disrupt your life. Thank you for the enlightenment. I will never complain again. I don't wear bras so yes. Always the damn nipples. When your inner lip pokes out and decides to rub itself on the fabric of the panties. It hurts like hell. They're called a wetty and they smell like vagina. It's mostly noticeable at the gym when you get a sudden whiff of kitten and your workout is ruined because you feel weird now. I got a whiff of this at the gym once and had to sit down on the leg machine for a good minute. Accidental but audible moaning. Is that a thing? How the duck do you moan on accident? That one day after your cycle where you're absolutely sure your period is over when it definitely is not. R.I.P. all the pretty undies ruined. It wouldn't be physical in my case, but more of a mental thing. Last time a cute guy started talking to me, I stammered a response in some sort of new language my brain invented on the spot. Blank staring into space while you picture yourself being absolutely railroaded, then someone recognizes that stare and you gotta stare back at them like they're the weird ones for staring at you. Then you just gotta slide to the floor and curl up in a ball of shame and wish dad never left when you were small. Otherwise you might have confidence to actually have more sex and not look like a cum drunk hillbilly in public with your mouth half open. Boobs falling out of your shirt. I was in church right after my youngest was born. I had a low cut dress on. My bra wasn't big enough as I still had my baby boobs. They fell out when I bent over to pick up my son. Boobner. Fanny flutters. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.